Hello again. I'm going to continue looking at making a record player out of scrap and junk. So um, as mentioned in my previous video, I'm going to use this lid as the turntable. Now I need a motor obviously to drive it and I'm going to drive it by putting a motor up against the rim like a lot of turntables are driven. This is also a very useful way of uh, stepping the motor down because they um, turn far too fast. But I've also decided I'm going to use another motor in the middle as the bearing. So I've um, been going through my collection of motors. Um, got some ones that have hard drives here. They look quite suitable until you realise that the, the middle bit, don't act, they don't actually turn. So it's only the outside bit that turns. And the biggest problem with mounting any sort of motor um, onto a turntable like that or a, a disc like that is getting it lined up. So that's probably not suitable. Um, that would work, but uh, it'd be difficult to stop the uh, turntable sliding all the way down the post. So it'd end up rubbing on this bit here. This looked like quite a likely candidate. A nice little motor there and uh, goes up to a flat disc there and I could actually uh, drill a little hole in the middle of the turntable and just line up the centre of this thing here. This is actually from an old um, CD or DVD drive. So that's that's possible. It's a bit of a pain to get out though. This thing doesn't want to seem to come off at all. Um, this one, actually not quite in view. This is an old electric toothbrush. Uh, it's got a, a little gear wheel mounted on it, so that might be useful, but still a bit fiddly. I like to be wobbly if I try to use that. So, curiously enough, the best thing I've found so far is this fan. Now, it spins ni nice and smoothly. This whole bit at the back turns round. And although you can't really see it in the video, there is actually a little dimple in the middle showing you what the centre is. Now, it won't actually mount directly onto the turntable because there's clearly not enough clearance. This thing doesn't protrude above the, uh, the casing. But if I actually put um, a washer on, and this washer doesn't have to be absolutely central, but pretty central, then that will go on top like that. And um, it should actually turn on the bearings of the, uh, the fan quite nicely. Right, a bit of double sided sticky tape later and um, give it a quick go. So that was just very roughly lined up by eye and uh, I would do a, certainly a better job of it. But um, in principle, I think that would work. Now, something that I did show in the uh, last bit of video when I was looking at motors was this motor here. I didn't mention it. Now I don't think it's suitable for um, mounting in the center but um, as it's already mounted in a nice upright container um, it might be suitable as the drive motor. Now the um, turntable would have to be higher up but this potentially could uh, drive the edge of the, um, the turntable. Just while we're here I had another thought so if I quickly flip this over again. In fact, you can see the mounting that I did. So actually all the bearing on this is at the bottom. So the thing that stops me connecting this directly onto here and lining up a very small hole in, in here with um, the uh, dimple on here is um, just this plastic and it is just plastic. Um, there's no reason I couldn't use um, little hacksaw and actually hacksaw a big chunk of that off and then that would actually give clearance. Okay that's it for now thanks for watching and if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe to Mr. RG Stuff.